Howdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Eden Zero Chapter 203. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this uh, um, channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, holy shit, fam. Oh, my God. So, we got a couple of things going on. We got the shit going on inside of Dead End uh, Crow with uh, Holy and now my boy Laguna and, and also Jin. And then we got the fight with Shiki and Ziggy. And Ziggy's mask is starting to come off. But what's behind the mask? Hopefully we're going to find out this week. Oh, God, that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if we have a Darth Vader moment. Oh, my God, if we have a Darth Vader moment, I will lose my shit. Because that's what I said we would be having is a Darth Vader moment. If it's something else, I will die. I swear. But anyways, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for Woo! It's store for us this week. This chapter titled Ziggy. So we getting some Ziggy content today. My guess is we're going to find out the identity if the chapter is titled Ziggy. All right, there's, there's a boy's Laguna and Jin. You, but how? Wind ether gear? How can you use your ether gear in here? <laughs> With an ether chair canceler. Well, technically we're just absorbing the jammer's electronic signal. Yeah, kitties. Oh my god, Mashima, you nasty fuck. My wind snatch, it takes everything! That look on her face is on <laughs> Clean's face, too! Oh god, this is nasty! Your ether jammer, I can cancel its effects! Shields restored, I'd be taking us up, right, Kitties? Right, Kitties? Yeah. Ooh. And Jin and Laguna, um, inside the. Inside, the infiltration was a uh, success. You're absorbing um, my electronic signal? What monsters are on your crew? No one talks about my sweet, adorable sister like that. It's true, Clean is very cute. Look good, I got no way to look at Clean like that. <laughs> sister? Aw, sissy. Does this mean I could use my ether gear now? Woo! Melt! Ah! Bye, bitch. That's a pretty diabolical power. <laughs> Look who's talking. This is in his main body. Well, that figures. Why didn't you fire the cannon? Eh, we don't pull the trigger on our crewmates, no matter what's going on. I'm not on your crew. Agreed, I never thought of you as one of us either, and neither is Jin. But Shiki considers you a friend. And we respect Shiki's wishes, that's all. Yeah, they respect their bro. Respect their captain. Eden Zero is focusing on defense now, and since we are inside the guy, let's find his power source and see if we can slow him down. All right, let's go. While well, they're taking care of the mamas. Okay, that should be all of them. And the night gear? Uh, it's under remote control. It will arrive shortly. Oh, poor, poor Weiss. Weiss, are you sure you're okay? It's kind of awkward to see my mom naked. <laughs> she died a long time ago. I thought she had been buried on Norma back then, but... Here she is, still in one perfect piece. I humbly request with all my heart that you stay out of my life. Mother, you each walked a separate path, but the fact remains that you endured painful labor to give, give me life. I hope that you may rest in peace, for there's too much death around me. For those of you that have followed me long enough and have watched all my Eden Zero content, you know why um, hum, uh, why Homura is extremely important to me. You know. Yeah, anyways. So many mothers here in one place, and Ziggy wanted to use them all. I don't know how he brought them here, but every single person here had a child. He ripped uh, away a piece of their family. I can't put things back the way they were, but I can stop Ziggy from taking advantage of you. Shiki, you have to beat Ziggy. <gasps> the mask is coming off. Ooh, here we go. 
Wait, what? I swear to God, if this is a Darth Vader moment, I have called this shit. I have called it, but let's see if I'm right, because right now it's looking like a Darth Vader moment. You look like me. What's going on? Everything is connected. What, the great circle of life? Here we go, 20,000 years later on the planet Eden. Well, everything is connect- Oh, is everything connecting in terms of the time skips? All right, we have recovered two human bodies discovered in the AOI cosmos. Human- Seriously? Two bodies. You have confirmed that the woman is dead. That's got to be, obviously, um, Rebecca. Uh, we will remove all radioactive material and begin the autopsy. The man is alive. A, a living human? Only authorized personnel beyond this point. Uh, these are some serious injuries. Are you sure he's alive? We are still getting life readings. He's trying to say something. Raise the other saturation to 70%. Give him some protein. Do you, do, do you understand our language? What is your name? He, I didn't hear that. Can you say it again? She, 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 Ziggy, wait, what? I am from 20,000 years in the future. I'm you, Shiki. What? Woo, so this is a semi-Darth Vader moment. This is, well, first of all, this feels like straight up Terminator right now. But we've seen this kind of shit before in other series. We have. We've seen future selves come back for this kind of shit, but not not completely for all evil deeds, but, um, oh God, I'm really getting some Danny Phantom right now. That's like the first thing. <laughs> but I'm kind of torn on this. I was hoping for a Darth Vader moment, like a full on Darth Vader moment, but I'm kind of torn. But at the same time, Mashima has set this up from the start with the time skips like this. So I can't completely hate this, but the only thing that I'm really curious about is which universe slash timeline is this? That's the only thing I'm curious about. Where? Where is, where is this from? Is it from um, the future, from the timeline where uh, Rebecca had, Rebecca had uh, her legs cut off? Is it from, um, uh, oh my God, which, what was I thinking for a minute? Wait a minute. If Ziggy is from 20,000 years in the future, something just seems off. We need an explanation for, like, how we travel back in time, like, traveling back in time, and how he met, like, how the shit went down with the, um, with the, uh, with the, with the starlights and all that. There need, there has to be some explanations on that. Something that had to happen. And then there is... The Dark Ether. I wonder when Ziggy turned, um, turned dark, like turned, e turned to the dark side. God damn it, the Star Wars shit is coming to me. But when Ziggy went to the dark side like this, what, um, it had to be when Ziggy technically died, right? Cause that was when his good side, the good side died and um, his dark side came, came up. His humanity died and the dark side came out. That's what it feels like to me. And maybe that dark, and maybe the dark ether is basically Skynet. I don't know, but something, there needs to be some explanations here for, for this. There, there has to be. I need explanations. We do. Because this is a mind... I can't say this is a complete mindfuck. I can't because of how everything has been set up. 
I can't say this is a mind fuck. I really can't. Like, part of me wants to really say this is a mind fuck, but I, at the same time, I can't. Because you have Rebecca's mama, who um, is, remember, she has time magic, or time ether. So, that, you have that all together, so that makes sense. But, at the same time, it's like, how, how did he find her? It was Wait, is that who, um, is that who died with her? Or is that the person that, uh, he, that, uh, died with him? Was that her? I'm, oh God, things are just, oh, now this is where it becomes mind fuckery. Is this, like, trying to think about where everything fits in this time, in the timeline, in the grand scheme of things, and, like, the universes and all that. Mashima, you are mind-fucking all of us right now with that. That's, that's why this is a mind-fuck, is because of, like, trying to figure out where everything fits in the grand scheme of things. That's where it is. And then you got the fact that if that is Rebecca's mama, then, then that really makes us a huge mind-fuck. If Ziggy fucked Rebecca's mama and that is Ziggy's kid, that would be so fucked up. Ah, oh, that'd be so fucked up. Oh my god, Mashima, please do this. Oh my god, if, if um, Ziggy is Rebecca's father, I will fucking die. Oh my god, if that really is the case, I will die. If Captain John is not the father and Ziggy is Rebecca's father, I will die so fucking much. Oh my god, please do it! Mashima, I will I I would expect nothing less out of you now. Please bring on the mind fuckery and do this. Oh my god, I could see it! I could actually see it! Is it scary that I can actually see this happening? Oh my god, I need that. I really would love to see where this went. Oh my god, that would be so fucked up. Oh my god. Ah! You know what this would be like? This, you know where we've seen this before? Is in the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5, uh, not 5Ds, I'm sorry. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 manga. That's what this would be like! Oh my god, that's what this would be like! It'd be exactly like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 manga! Oh my god, please do this! Please do this! Because it, what, what it was, was that you had Yuya um, in the past. You went from the future to the past. And uh, his, his mama, his, mo his, eventually, his eventual mama ended up falling for him. It was so weird. That's why I'm like, if this is what we get here, I would not be mad at that. I'd love to see it. It'd be so, well, it'd be a little bit different, obviously, because it would be uh, his daughter. Actually, you know what this would be like? It'd be like a combination of Trinity 7 with uh, with Lilith uh, and, uh, um, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. That's what this would be. That's what this would be. This would be a combination of Trinity 7 and Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. That's what this would be. Oh, my God, because in, in Trinity 7, you have something similar going on with, uh, um, with Arata, because... In terms of, like, demon lords and shit, you have, like, alternate universe demon lords and shit like that. And that's what we kind of have here, this, like, with uh, Ziggy. He's like, future, yes, but alternate universe, we don't know. Uh, but that's what, that's what this gives me. That's what this is, because it was taking me a minute to figure it out. But yes, this is, like, Trinity 7, and in a way means Arc 5. Oh my god, this totally is. Oh my god, this really fucking is. Oh my god. Oh my god, this really fucking is. Especially if Shiki is in love uh, with, if Shiki and Rebecca get together, it'll be like Arata getting uh, with Lilith. 
Oh my god, this is way more like Trinity 7 than Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, huh? Yeah, it is! This is way more- Oh my god! We are really turning into Trinity 7 now, aren't we? Oh my god! Please do it, Mashima! Please get into Trinity 7 mindfuckery! Please do it! Because if you have not read Trinity 7, that is one giant mindfuck. Trinity 7 is like one of the ultimate mindfucks of manga. It is so good, though. <laughs> We are heading into mindfuckery! Yes! Ultimate mindfuckery! Let's do it! Please! Please do it, Mashima! I want to get into Trinity 7 mindfuckery with this! Oh my god! Yes! 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 I needs it! I needs it! I was originally gonna be pissed with this, but no! If this means getting into Trinity 7 levels of mindfuckery, yes! I, I am pleased with this. I know people are gonna be pissed about this, but... If you've read Trinity 7, and to an extent, I have to include Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! Arc 5, because people were pissed about that. I don't remember if people were pissed about that um, with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 manga. But, like, if you've read those series, especially Trinity 7, and you understand the mindfuckery that goes on, you can't be mad at what's going on here. No! I, I, I like what's happening here! I do! This is, the, this is one of the ultimate mindfuckeries! I'm stoked! I really wish this was more like a Darth Vader moment. I do. But, nah, this is more of a Trinity 7 moment. Oh, damn straight! This is a straight-up Trinity 7 moment. And if, if it goes the way I think it's going to go... Oh my god, if it goes the way I want it to go, yes, this will be some straight-up Trinity 7 shit. Oh, yes it will. And I will not be mad at it. Nope. Nope, I can't be mad at it. No! I'm really curious what you guys think, um, especially if you've read Trinity 7. Are you guys mad at this? Um, especially with how everything was set up here, I can't be mad. No. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation going and uh, so we can keep bringing you more Eden Zero content, a few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.